How many of you like the rain? I know I do. I love when it's raining outside. It feels so cozy inside and I love the sound of rain on the roof and I even like to go outside and play in the rain. It's really fun to get all wet and jump in the puddles and they just have a good time and make memories. Well, but the rain is important. It's not just fun. It's important because everything outside needs rain to grow. We water our plants inside, but outside, who waters all the grass and all the trees that in God's creation? Well, he does. Well, if the rain doesn't come, well, then those plants could die and crops could die and farmers won't have food. If the farmers don't have food, they can't bring it to market. It could be a big problem. Well, there was a time in the Bible when Elijah, we've talked about him before, he got a message from God to go tell the king, King Ahab, who wasn't a good king, he had to tell him that the Lord told him there wasn't going to be rain for a long time, not unless he said it would rain. And King Ahab wasn't happy. It wasn't Elijah who said it, it was God who said it, but Elijah was God's messenger. So Ahab was mad at Elijah. So God told Elijah to go hide himself by the brook Cherith. Elijah didn't have anything. And God said, I will bring you food. And just like God promised, ravens brought Elijah food. And so Elijah was hiding by the brook Cherith. He was drinking water out of the brook and ravens were bringing him food. God was providing his need, just like he said, and just like he promised. So Elijah was noticing that the brook was getting smaller and smaller. It was kind of drying up because there was no rain. So there's no rain. There was no water to feed the brook. And so Elijah thought, okay, okay, Lord, there's no water. What am I going to do? And the Lord came to Elijah again and told him to go to another town. And there a widow, a woman who had lost her husband and her son would feed him. So just like Jesus told the disciples to go get the donkey and to go get the upper room, God saying, Elijah, go, there's a, go find this woman and she's going to feed you. Well, there's no rain. So there's a famine. That means there's no rain. There's no food. People are in trouble. And so how's this woman going to feed him? But Elijah's obedient. He went to the brook, like God said, and God said I was going to provide. And he did water in the brook and the ravens brought him food. So God was good as good. It was true to his word. And so now Elijah is going to this widow's house. And he walks up and he says, God told me to come here and to ask you for a drink of water. And she brought him some water. And then he said, "And would you bless me with a, with a, a meal? And she said, well, I have enough flour and enough oil to make a little cake, uh, like a little loaf of bread. I was going to go make that for me and my son. It would be our last meal. And then we would just wait until we died. That sounds terrible. Because it is. And Elijah said, no. God said that your cruise or jar of oil and your jar of flour will never run out until their rain comes again. And so as long as you feed me, feed your family, there'll be food for all of us. Now that woman went in and made a cake, a little loaf of bread, and fed Elijah. That took a lot of faith, because that's all she had left. She gave everything. And she went back to make some food for her son and for herself, and guess what? There was flour, there was oil. And guess what? The next day when she got up to make some food, there was flour and oil. She made some food. The next day she got back up. But wait, see what's happening? God said he would do it, and he did it. She had a room for Elijah upstairs. She so had his own room, and she made food for them every day, and God provided, because God is our provider. And everything seemed to be going really, really well, until one day the woman came to Elijah, and she was very upset. She was crying. She was sobbing, because her son, her only son, had died. And she said, Elijah, why did you come and bring this tragedy to my house? Why have you done this to me? And she was blaming Elijah. She didn't know who else to blame. She was hurting. Her heart was sad and she was upset. So Elijah prayed. Because whenever we're sad or upset, whenever we don't understand, we should always start with prayer. So Elijah prayed and said, God, why did you bring this tragedy on this woman? And, God, and Elijah kept praying. And God gave Elijah the power to do something amazing. God went into the little boy's room and he picked him up. And he stretched him out and he prayed over him. 
The Bible says he did this three times. And the third time, God brought the little boy back to life because of Elijah's faith and because of Elijah's desire to, to thank this woman and to show this woman who God is. And he brought her son down. And he said, God has given your son back to you. And the woman said the most important thing in the story. She said, I know truly that you are a man of God. Now, you may not be able to bring someone back to life, but you can do something kind for someone and you can reach out to someone. Maybe this week you've written a letter to someone to say, hey, thank you for serving. Those are words of encouragement. Maybe you could be kind to your, to your brother or sister, to your mom and dad, or, or to someone that's hard to be kind to. Because God wants us to love each other. God wants us to show his love. And that's what Elijah was doing. Elijah was being obedient. This woman was being obedient. They came together because God told them to. And God did a miracle by bringing food to Elijah. He did a miracle by bringing flour and oil to this woman and her whole family. And then God did an amazing, mind-blowing miracle by bringing her son back to life. And she knew without a shadow of a doubt that God was God and Elijah was a man of God. And she would continue to feed him and trust him because of what God had done for her. So if we're in time of need and we don't know what's going to happen, God is our provider. He is our protector. He is our sustainer. And we can pray to him just like Elijah did, just like that woman did. And God will take care of us because he says he will.